I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to password protect collections on your Shopify store. So to do so, we'll be using a completely free app called Sammy B2B Lock. It's super easy to set up and I'll be showing you everything here. So once you're on this page, I'll leave a link in the description below. Just click install. Now I already have the app installed, so I've accepted the permissions, but on the homepage, it's going to ask you to create a lock. And that's exactly what we want to do to lock the collection page. If you're on a different screen for whatever reason, you could head to the app here on the left hand side menu and then click on locks. So I'll hit create lock here and let's go and set up our first lock. I'm going to call this collection pages. And I'm just going to call this the camping lock as I know I want to go and lock a specific collection called a camping. Now in terms of content to lock, we get quite a few different options. We can select the whole website, specific products, URLs, blog posts, or pages. But in this video, I want to lock specific collections. So I'm going to search for this here. I know it's called camping. So if I select camping here, I click add. You can see it's been added here and I can select what I want to do in the product settings, whether that's to hide the products, hide the price and hide the add to cart button. I can also just hide all of them in the collection list, which is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to toggle that on. Next up, we can set the lock conditions. So this is going to be who can or cannot access the content. So we can set this up for selected visitors, logged in customers, visitors with a passcode or visitors who have a secret link. I'm going to select the passcode option. And for the passcode, I'm just going to enter one, two, three. I'm going to add this in. I can also add multiple passcodes if I want to, and I can set the passcode message. So I could just say you have been sent this secret code and I can grant access for a limited period of time, whether that's days, hours, or minutes. To finalize these changes, I just hit save in the bottom right and I've created my first lock here. Next up, we want to enable the app embed. So if I head to the homepage of the app here by clicking on it, it should show up in this quick setup guide. But if you don't see it, you can head to the Shopify theme editor directly. I'm going to open up online store in a new tab. It's going to open up my Shopify themes. I'll click customize here. And where I want to go is the app embed section on the left. And I can see Sammy lock is at the top because it's recently installed. We could also just search for it and I'll toggle it on there. I'll hit save in the top right to enable that. And it's now active on my store. To note, there is going to be some branding here, but you can remove this by contacting them. Next up, I'll head to settings in the bottom left. And here I can customize some of the colors such as the placeholder resource. I could either show the message, I could hide the message. And I could also show if product and collection are locked in a list. I could add custom CSS if I want to, and I can do it for different items such as hiding the price or the notification with passcode. I'm going to leave all of these as the default here, but let's head to my products in the top left on collections. Next, I'm going to click into the camping collection and I want to click view in the top right here and I can see it is password locked just like I've set up. So if I enter in the passcode, one, two, three, there are no products in this as there are filters and they're all out of stock, but I did go and hide the collection. Shopify store owners need to know where every dollar they spent is going. And that's where our sponsor of today's video comes in and it's profit calc, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations, letting you make smarter business decisions. It has tons of different details, analytics and metrics so you can really understand your store's performance in a very concise and easy to understand manner. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok as well as many cost of goods sold options. I'll leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. If you search for it in the Shopify app store as well, just look for this logo here and there's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So make sure you check out the link in the description below and start your free 15 day trial. So this concludes the video here on how to password protect collections on your Shopify store. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.